is off tonight and tonight the NYPD is focusing on one man as investigators search for the cold-blooded killer who gunned down three shop owners in Brooklyn. Their murders has a community on edge. CBS News' Tony Aiello has the story from East Flatbush. At the clothing store crime scene, forensic investigators looked for fingerprints and people who knew the victim searched for words to describe his senseless murder. I said that nice, very nice man. He's very, very nice. He's a good man. I don't know really know what to say, but it's just heartbreaking to, you know, miss another friendly face in the neighborhood. A friendly face. 78-year-old Ramatola Vahidapur shot dead Friday evening. The third Brooklyn shopkeeper killed by the same 22 caliber handgun since July. The NYPD now focusing its probe on a man seen on Flatbush Avenue around the time of the Friday shooting. Cops are calling him John Doe duffel bag because he's carrying one. A police source says he looks very similar to a man spotted on surveillance video after the August murder of Bensonhurst shopkeeper Isaac Kadari. We're doing, I, th I think, an all-out effort to, uh, to solve these murders. Commissioner Kelly says the NYPD is working with the FBI to come up with a profile of the killer. Police do not believe money was a motive. Mr. Bahidapur had $171 in his pocket and nothing had been taken from the register. All three victims were born in the Middle East and usually worked alone. The Hidapur and Kadare were Jewish. The first victim, Mohammed Jubeli, was a Muslim. The possibility of a, a, a biased motive here is something uh, that can't be excluded. Police are urging other shopkeepers to take steps to protect themselves. We have cameras. We're going to put more in the front. Police say the gunman appears to target stores without cameras. Another clue the victims are not chosen at random. In East Flatbush, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Police say in each